Hi, I'm Randy with BBQGuys.com. We're on the bayou today, and we're going to show you how we boil crawfish down here in Louisiana. It's crawfish season, so it's a good time to get a good boil in. Let's cook some bugs. I picked up a 36-pound sack of some nice-sized crawfish. You don't want them too big or they'll be hard to peel. The first step is to give them a bath to remove any remaining mud or debris. An ice chest works well for rinsing because you can easily drain the water and rinse again if needed. Crawfish will survive best in a cool place, so let them sit in the shade with a little ice over them after rinsing. Now for the boil, I have a 120 quart pot. I found this to be the perfect size for a sack of crawfish with all the fixings. I'll fill the pot about three quarters of the way to the top, and if you're lucky to be using a family pot, you'll see the previous boil line on the side. Once you have enough water in the pot to cover the crawfish, light your burner to start working your way towards boiling temperatures. This is a good time to add your seasonings. I'll go ahead and add about a quarter cup of salt. Now pour in a four and a half pound bag of dry crab oil. When those spices make your eyes water, you know you're off to a good start. Next, I'll pour 16 ounces of liquid crab oil. Some people boil with all liquid or dry boil, but I like the combination of both best. Finish off the spice mix with a generous handful of cayenne pepper. The spicier the better in my opinion. Stir everything well and let the water finish coming up to a boil while we prep the veggies. Now corn and potatoes are the most classic vegetables to boil with crawfish, but I really love how mushrooms soak up the flavor with the boil as well. Some good local sausage is another great addition. My favorite flavor to boil is garlic. I'll throw in a sack's worth of red potatoes. Since these are on the large side, I'll cut them in half to reduce boil time. Next, I'll add about eight heads of sweet corn on the cob. Last but not least, I have two heads of elephant garlic. Just separate the cloves and add them to the mix. Let the veggies and sausage boil for somewhere around 20 minutes, really just until the potatoes are tender. All right, let's see if these sides are ready. An easy way to check doneness is with a butter knife. When the potato slides off, they're done. The crawfish will only take a few minutes to cook, so I'll keep the sides in the pot so everything stays hot. At this point, the crawfish may be looking a little nervous. Pour them into the strainer and it's time to boil. After the crawfish are submerged, keep an eye on the water. You want to start timing the cook after the water comes back up to a boil. Since the crawfish I have today are medium to large size, I'll let them boil around six minutes. The finishing touch for these mud bugs will be some fresh squeezed lemons. I'll wait until now to slice them so none of the fresh flavor goes to waste. Aside from timing, you will know your crawfish are ready when they start floating to the top of the water. These are smelling amazing. It's time to cut the fire off and start the soaking process. Squeeze the lemon straight into the pot and toss the rind in as well. When eating, the lemon halves are perfect for smashing the garlic clove inside for dipping the crawfish tails. The last step of boiling crawfish is one of the most critical. This is when you add a bag of ice to the pot and let them soak. This will drop the temperature of the water enough to keep them from overcooking and help the spices finish absorbing. Let the crawfish soak for about 20 minutes. They'll be worth the wait. So it's tradition to take a test right out the pot. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching y'all. And remember, at bbqguys.com, we smoke the competition. I'm digging in.